I'll have to tell you the truth and tell you that when I looked at the Knight of Champions card, I did have a lot of feelings about Sting being in the main event as being something that we really needed to see. But I'm really surprised when I look at this card and I'm planning out the videos that I'm going to make for all of these and, and preview everything that I think is going to be happening at Night of Champions to give my predictions on everything. Somehow when I look at this Ryback versus Kevin Owens matchup for the uh, Intercontinental Championship, this is the one match that I really am just really into. I really want to see how this match works out. I think that these guys are going to be able to go out and really deliver a really good match. I think that WWE, as of right now, uh, is really happy with Ryback. Um, I know everybody right now is really down on CM Punk and uh, basically thinking that, uh, uh, you know, that they put the title on um, Nikki Bella um, to beat AJ Lee's, uh, you know, longest reigning title reign is one way of, you know, sticking the knife in the back of CM Punk. Uh, for leaving and going to UFC and, um, you know, Ryback in the uh, Art of Wrestling uh, interview um, really is the one guy that CM Punk really went after. Um, so now they've built this guy up to the point of putting the Intercontinental Championship on him and they're really they're really giving him the push and um, they're, they're trying to make him into a credible superstar um, that people really care about. I think that honestly with Ryback, as soon as he did the... Um, public relations tour of going on to the Chris Jericho podcast and telling this story about, you know, being a, a fan of reading the book, The Secret, and uh, basically being a guy that really wanted to be a wrestler. It's been his life passion ever since he was a little kid, and he went to the Las Vegas house show um, where he got to be the guest timekeeper and uh, working his way all the way up into uh, being a member of uh WWE uh, through going through Tough Enough and everything that went along with that. Um, I think that they really sort of pushed into the light of being one of the main guys. And uh, some of the promos that Ryback has done, even the one on Monday Night Raw that people were really down on, uh, to me, when I watched him back, um, they, they really do come from the heart. Um, he might not be the best talker there is, and I think the less talking that Ryback does, it's for the better. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he's, he's a guy that I really like. I can feel it for him right here. Um, Kevin Owens being one of my favorite superstars. I know that he's really getting the shaft right now as a guy that, you know, is carrying around a lot of weight. Um, you know, he really trained really hard to get into shape for WWE to bring him in. And then everybody was really high on him because he was training really hard, um, when he was at the, um, performance center and, uh, he was always in really good shape. And now that he's sort of joined WWE's main roster and he's on the road, um, people are seeing that he is, you know, getting bigger again because he doesn't have the, uh, I don't know if maybe his eating habits are different because he's not at home and he's not on a strict sort of diet or if he's just not working all the time. But to me, honestly, when it comes down to it, I, it doesn't matter how many people take pot shots at it. I think that Kevin Owens is one of the best wrestlers in the world. He is the guy that, for his weight, can do ex outstanding things inside of the ring. Um, he's one of those guys that just can do just about anything that he puts his mind to. And uh, if, from his Ring of Honor days, his NXT days, his WWE days... He's never really gone out and stunk the place out. I really enjoy his matches. And um, his push uh, to become a champion is one of the best, you know, sort of storyline developments uh, for a character that I really like. He really has not changed who he is at all. You know, from NXT, he basically attacked his friend, Sami Zayn, um, because he said he wanted to win the championship because the championship meant uh, more money. It meant uh, a better life for him and his family. He comes into WWE. He goes right after the uh, number one guy in the company, that being John Cena. That feud establishes into a United States championship match because he had lost the NXT title to Finn Balor and basically said, I lost the title, so now I want to win one. He wasn't able to get that done. And uh, he went into the feud with Cesaro, which was sort of just sort of keeping him busy for a while. And now here he is uh, basically saying, you know, feed me more. Um, you know, he doesn't care how big he gets. He's, he's going after Ryback. And this is going to be one of the ones I really think these guys are really going to go out there and really beat the hell out of each other. And this is going to be a good match. I'm hoping that Owens can win the Intercontinental title. I'm sure as a real wrestling fan, it's going to mean a lot to him. And uh, if you think how much, you know, when he debuted, um, ESPN went bananas over the fact that he came out there to fight John Cena. And um, his wife taped, um, you know, his... Um, 
joy of not knowing that his dad was going to be on the show. He's excited that he sees his dad debuting, and then all of a sudden it sets in like, I'm going to fight John Cena. What do you think it's going to be like when Kevin Owens comes home with that Intercontinental Championship for the first time and shows his kid that he's a champion? Uh, I know that he held the title in Ring of Honor, uh, and uh, that might have just not meant the world. Um, to him, but you know, coming home with the WWE Intercontinental Championship, I think is going to change the world for that family, and I think that that's why I'm picking Kevin Owens to get the win tonight.